doing? Welcome to this Enlight tutorial. So in this Enlight tutorial, we're going to make um, this effect right here. So we're going to take the a few four images and we're going to apply a series of um, effects on the four images over a series of a few weeks. And we'll keep adding one of the images to the collage of four of the four weeks, but combining in, in what you see here so let's have a look at the images first and foremost that we're going to um, that we're going to adjust so the one that we'll do today is this model and we'll make this superb um, really um, effective double exposure image with a few effects on there um, we'll look at this tree and we'll um, in a couple of weeks and we'll turn it into this floating and um, sort of effect here we'll look at this tree um, flower not much going on there but we're going to apply a few effects to it and give this really nice sort of um, paint drip look with these lights as well um, and then we're going to look at um, a frog um, colorful frog and just apply a color swatch to it making it like so combining um, in a couple of weeks time with this four images and lots of skills learnt along the way um, and I'll put all the um, put all the images or links to the images in the description of the relevant video so let's get back over to in light and, um, and make a start on this one so um, let's select this stock image of this model like I said the images will be in the description below I'm just going to tap the screen and then I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to mixer and I'm going to select the image that I want to mix with the image on the background I'm going to rotate it and drag out the size with my finger and my thumb just pinch and squeeze and I'm going to place it sort of halfway on the model's hair like so now what you just have to bear in mind is let's try and get this light part into into the picture so let's just drag it down so we do actually get this light part into the picture because that's when you will see the sort of the best effect really when we um, when we start to mix it and so i'm going to have it like this and then i'm going to go to tools and i'm going to go to blending and i'm going to go to seamless so once you go to the seamless blending you will get this effect so now what i want to do i want to click tools again and go to erase and you see this line that's straight down the center this line here so I think we could do um, sort of smudge that line out with the arrays so it's just not a defined line and I'm just dabbing with my finger and likewise around the top here it's gonna wipe out around the top a little bit um, and just make it a little bit nicer make the effects look a little bit nicer so you notice we've not got that defined line we've got this um, this quite nice effect now and then I'm just gonna click the tick button um, and you see that I did that very roughly I'm gonna select the mixer again and then select the same image but this time rotate it the other way and just increase the size now you notice if I got this image over her face like this when I even when I mix it I'm going to have to delete some of the image so I'm just gonna make the image purposely a little bit smaller or drag it down so it's not on the um, the face of the model quite so much so there's less deleting for us to do so when we go to tools and we select blending and we go to seamless you notice we almost don't have to in fact we don't have to do any erasing on this image at all maybe we could go to tools erase button and just on the neck area here so I've just got rid of that um, that front Part then and then I'm just going to click the tick button top right hand side to say that I'm happy with the changes and I agree with the changes and that's our image so then I'm going to go to image I'm going to go to adjust and I'm going to come up here over to the right hand side scroll all the way across and I can do one of two you can you can choose any filter that you want to so you could just scroll scroll the, through the filters and say I tell you what I like that one best you just apply that again adjust um, so there's there's lots of filters that you can do and it really is a 
case of, of preference, what do you prefer? But the way we're gonna do it, or the way I'm gonna do it for now, I'm either gonna select the withered, or I'm gonna select the imprint. In this um, in this instance, I'm gonna select the imprint and just ramp it up. So if I if I have non effect, no effect applied, ink print applied, I'm gonna swipe my finger over to the right hand side, and you'll notice from the face on the image here, let me show you the effect that I want. I want to lose this cheekbone structure here, um, just so you have the eyes stand out. So the darks for me now are standing out on the image and the lights of the image are not as bright. So I'm just gonna ramp it up a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, and all it helps do is the lights of the double exposure of the tree line. So the lights behind the trees makes those stand out and just gives you a better effect on the double exposure. I'm gonna select the tick button and then I'm going to close down that image, select the brushes the effects and then scroll along on the effects until I get these um, these birds flying and I'm just gonna touch the screen around the tree both tree areas so I get these birds flying like so that's a really nice effect in itself I'm gonna click the tick button now what you can do is you can go to image you can go to adjust and then you can go to tools at the bottom and you can go to details. So from the left hand side, we can um, improve the structure of the image a bit, a little bit. So it's sort of, um, so it just, it doesn't sharpen it, it just makes the structure of the, um, of the image a little bit more defined. The sharpen does, as it says, sharpens the, um, sharpens the image. And the blacks, we can tone down the lights even more if we like, like so. So we've got rid of the brightness and just highlighted the darks on the images. Likewise with the shadows, we can um, we can emphasize the shadows a little bit more and then the highlights, again, we just, um, we're just toning down the lighter parts of the image or we could ramp up the lighter parts of the image. I just want to leave them just a little bit toned. So at the moment, I've got my structure on 13, my sharpen on 17, blacks on minus 41, shadows on minus 34, and highlights on minus 13. And then I'm gonna click the little tick button, and that is the first image in our collage done. Let's go to our canvas, and it would just fit that square a little bit nicer. And let's crop some of the image down a little bit, just so it's a little bit more square. And then let's close canvas go to finalize select collage look for the four images on the collage and then we've got a nicer effect right there look excellent okay so that fits quite nicely obviously we're going to put our other images in at a later date we could go for tools we could change the the color of the of the borders or we could even put a pattern on the borders which is quite nice quite nice effect and obviously these patterns these ones that are selected around the outside they will go once we've um, once we've added more images but that is a um, is a cool effect I'm sure you'll agree um, remember we'll um, we'll do more f f um, more of the others a bit later on thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if I don't get to um, speak to you all before, I hope you have an awesome festive period and I'll see you in the new year. Talk to you in the new year. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you soon. Bye.